Howdy y'all, DJTJ here with Inkscape tutorial number 17, text. So to select the text tool, you just go to your toolbox and you'll see the A icon. You can also press T as a quick command. Then you just need to left click anywhere in your window. It'll make a flashing cursor just like a regular word processor. Now you just type your text. Select the selection tool. If you want to make it bigger or smaller, the quickest way is to just grab one of the corner handles, hold control, left click and drag, and it'll make it larger. So I'll press T again to go back to my text tool. If you want to manipulate or change the text after you've made it, you need to left click and highlight it. The first option we have is the font. So you can click on the drop down menu and Inkscape already has a ton of fonts preloaded. But if you don't feel like searching, you can always type in the one you were looking for. The next drop down is to add italic or bold to your font. If those options aren't visible, it's because that font does not have those options. So if you wanted something italic but, but you couldn't find this option, you'd need to change the font. The next drop down is to resize your font. So if I wanted to go to like a 72, there you go. The next option is spacing between baselines. That's basically the space in between your sentences, how far apart they are. So to demonstrate that is I'll click here at the end. I'll go ahead and press enter or return. And I'll type in some more words. All right. So highlight that, and then if you click on this spacing between baselines, you can make that spacing bigger. The next is the alignments. So we're a left align. You can also center align, align right. The justify only works if you have your text inside a shape. It's um, usually made to fill fill in shapes with text. So if you were working with a layout, like your magazine layout, you could draw boxes and justify your text in those boxes. We'll be going over that in a later tutorial. Toggle subscript. So if you wanted to make something subscript, you would just need to type it and highlight that, and then you'll see it. It's really tiny and then you, you would have to play around to adjust that size. Control Z. And the subscript works either top or bottom of the text. The next is the spacing between letters. So let's go ahead and highlight this. And if you bring it up, it'll start putting spaces in between those letters, in pixels. Next is the spacing between words. So if I had a hard return here, I'm sorry, a space. Then I highlight those. I'm going to start bringing this up and you'll see that the V is moving away. The next is horizontal kerning. Now the way horizontal kerning works is if I go ahead and put my cursor in between two letters and then I start moving this up it will move just those two letters apart as opposed to this one which moves all the letters in the text block vertical shift so let's go ahead and highlight just this and start raising it it's going to drop the letters down they're still going to be on the same line it's just some will be dropped down and you can make some nice falling letters that way and finally character rotation so if you start bringing this up, it will rotate the characters. This is the way your text types. So if I was to select this and then select this, it will change it. Let's go back. So if we go ahead and select here and I start typing, You'll see that. So 
so if you wanted to write your text sort of down a line or something these options right there you can adjust those and play with them to get your text to do that now there's one other thing with the text tool that I want to show you guys real quick so if you go under the text and we will go into these more in depth in a future tutorial but I just want to show you the palette that comes up so from this palette you can do a lot of your manipulations of your text right here and it can be handy especially if you're working with large blocks of text whatever text you have selected shows right here so if I wanted to edit my text in a block format right here then I press apply it'll do that this is also really handy if you your text is um, all over the place or maybe on a path or somewhere and you just want to see what the text would normally look like in a very um, static manner so you can edit it and change things that's the best way to do it and that's the basics of the text tool join us for our next Inkscape tutorial number 18 layers thanks for watching